atmosphere that's created, not the atmosphere. <laughs> I know it's the the feeling that the the Liverpool players they feel it, and that's you know an extra boost that they feel that okay this now is the momentum now they are behind us and now we go and to 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 defend on those moments it's not easy we have tried to prepare before the game hey we were ready for that we have our strategies but you know at the end it's it's it's, it's, it's difficult an anfield anfield the electric yeah. i mean you've been there you know what it's like by the hell <laughs> it's it's uh, it's marvelous atmosphere to win yeah, but you, you have to ex, you know you expect that atmosphere no. to be there, even if you're losing. You mean you never felt safe there, did never, you? Never, no, never really. Second half, I just thought we saw Anfield. You know, we saw Liverpool, saw that full throttle football. Their counter pressing was incredible, suffocated us. Fans were amazing, and it was probably difficult for the players to really concentrate and um, and play like we had done in the first half. Anfield, going to Anfield, until you go there and play as a Man United player, you will never know what it is. It's sure. a cauldron, it's fire. I swear, what Rio says is correct. You remember yeah. Ferguson used to rest player, not the because week, they were tired, the tired week before, physically, just to make the sure. week before, to make sure <laughs> mentally you're ready to play at Anfield. Anfield, like I say, winning at Anfield is the best feeling in the world. Losing on field is the worst. You remember the boss? Sometimes when we lose on field, he didn't speak for us. For well, two didn't weeks. speak. Didn't speak to you. He, no, you know your dad. You, you know your dad when you're a kid. No. Yeah. If your dad shouts at you, you know where he is. Yeah. If your dad don't oh. shout at you, you know it's the worst, worst, worst yeah. thing. Yeah. Said, he didn't talk to you for two days. I only experienced in the television so far about the atmosphere, and uh, now we experience uh, on our own. And uh, these are the small details, you know. Being loud, great atmosphere. Maybe a wild environment. I had it once at Anfield that the game was going there and suddenly I, was, I could only see red shirts flying around. The game is passing all over me and I cannot react. And people will think, what is he doing? And I am like, I cannot do it. I cannot do it emotionally, physically. I cannot cope. Everything goes too fast. And I only had that feeling in my career once and, uh, and it was at Anfield. And the crowd is in that mood. They play every ball of that game with the team and you can feel it. I love to watch City, but when I be, uh, want to be a supporter, maybe I want to be in the stand of uh, Liverpool, the Anfield Road. <laughs> Liverpool is another asset that comes out because let's not forget Liverpool did not win the championship for 30 years, but in Europe they do well. Why? Anfield. Home game, this is the most heated stadium in Europe, in a return game, that's the only place you don't want to go, is to Anfield because of the atmosphere, everything is special there. What's the craziest arena stadium you played at? Craziest fan base? Um, definitely in the Premier League, Anfield at Liverpool. Yeah. That's like, we were 2 0 up and suddenly there was like an action and their crowd just lifted and got aggressive. And you could see it boost their players. Their players then look a bit taller, run a bit faster. So it is, a, it is a tough, tough place to go and like take all three points. And we, we should have, to be fair. We just, they, the cop just sucks the ball into the net. Like it's weird, it's like this energy that's just like pressure, pressure, and then it breaks through. So yeah, that, definitely Liverpool. Anfield and Chelsea was, you just knew it was, you'd have to be, but you, if you won the game, it'd be an ugly win. You mm. wouldn't go there and win, playing nice football, getting the ball down, moving it. You'd nick a goal. We'd mm. done it with John O'Shea last minute. Um, you, you just don't enjoy the game of football. Eh? You don't, even though when you win, you enjoy it after. But actually, as the game's going on, you don't enjoy it. When they went this is Anfield, it's because this sentence of this is Anfield is a wrong. No, it's one of those market. You have noticed that in your own property, yes. That the game is something that no tech has any other other cap del món. No el té. I quan diuen aquesta sentència no és contigo de màrqueting, és a dir, ara ens posarem aquí... aquí hi ha, no, és molt anterior al màrqueting. Hi ha 60, 70 anys d'història que saben que tots els que van allà és un camp especial. I hi ha una aura que et fan un gol i els pots en 5 minuts sembla que, estàs per, que te'n faran 4. No saps què. Els veus petit, els veus números contraris, els veus tot arreu. Even the people that is not uh, in love with that club, they have to admit that it's a magnificent club, incredible stadium, and one of the best atmospheres that I have, uh, I have ever played football is, is Anfield. So when we say impossible is nothing, definitely is there that impossible is nothing.